Hello, hello again and welcome to another tutorial. And this time I will try to remove or maybe remove the fungus. I mean the dirt should be quite easy to remove but the fungus, hmm, it's a maybe a different issue. But it will be in Mamiya Seiko Fish Eye Set and it's a 37mm 4.5 for the uh, Mamiya R set 67. So uh, let's see what we can do about it. I mean, if we turn it, well, it looks absolutely fine, uh, especially on the front uh, lens element. It looks pretty good. There are some small scratches and so, but not really a, a problem. But uh, if we look at the other end, hmm, there is something that shouldn't be there. And if we look a little closer, you will see some kind of fungus. You probably can see it. It's the matte uh, area over here. Oh. Come on, over here, different to see below the lamps, <laughs> reflection. Um, <clears throat> you can see it there, there's a kind of a uh, web, kind of. Well, I think I would try to remove it. Well, there's also some kind of dirt inside. And if we look to the lens, you possibly can see there's a lot of, hmm, it's not clear. Not at all. I mean, the front uh, lens here is quite clean, but as I see it, uh, it should be... I will go in from the back here and try to see if I can uh, get rid of the fungus and the, uh, the dust and dirt inside here on the back lens group. And so I will also take out the front lens group, which come out in one piece by unscrew the lens element, uh, the mints, the, uh, it's not a retaining ring, it's actually um, a mount that hold the, uh, that keep their lens groups in place, especially the front lens um, and the uh, middle lens group, well, I think it's called that, and um, but it's more on the back here, on the back of the lenses. So uh, I will simply be go uh, begin to take out the uh, lens groups by taking off the front lens, which should be quite easy. <coughs> We will need some uh, tools for this uh, cleaning and I will use my old uh, compass here, metal compass. You can buy them on the on eBay or Amazon. I think Amazon is, has some or connected. It's not a very expensive but you can file and grind, which I have done here, to fit perfect on those uh, on the notches here on each side. It's also good when working with other lenses. And we need some clean solution, especially the hydrogen peroxide, uh, 3%. And we will need some lighter fluid. In this case it's SIPO, but you can use whatever lighter fluid. It should be the same. And um, we will use some pack pads here, some of those uh, non-abrasive wipes, which is really good. I have a bag here where I cut them in smaller size, actually four times smaller. <clears throat> um, so it's more economic in that way. And uh, we will need some rubber tools. <clears throat> especially this one 
and uh, the cones here from Japan Hobby Tool, which is absolutely great with working with lenses and cameras. Now, I also use this one. It's actually the the uh, from a walking stick for uh, because it's very sticky rubber, and it has a size to, in this case, fit on the back uh, of the lens group. Now, some kind of uh, sticky rubber gloves, which is absolutely amazing to use uh, when um, disassembled lenses, also some cameras. But there's a brand called OX On, and this is a flexible, uh, yeah, so, and the lens blowers are also very essential. So now let's go to work. And I think we just need a, a lens sucker, which will be very handy. So, also from Japan Hobby Tool. Really a good one, I think. Now, <clears throat> let's get into the front lens group and see what we can do about it. And I will just loosen the uh, the front lens group by using this uh, old compass and so adjust it, or which I already have done, and then just push gently on each side. It can be a little stiff, I mean sticky, uh, but there's no need for doing anything uh, using light of I mean using uh, nail polish remover in this case so when it's loose we can just turn it I mean unscrew it by hand so there and we will see in a short time how it looks oh take care when taking it out. This is how it looks inside the the lens housing and there we see the shutter in here with the blades which should be like it is there. It's fully open when you see it uh, through the lens. Now <clears throat> so this is the front lens group. I mean there's also a lens group in here. Um, which, I mean, you can disassemble the whole lens here by unscrew the front retaining ring. I will not do it in this case because it's not necessary. Uh, if you want to do it, there is some uh, nail polish or Loctite or whatever they have used for thread locking. And there could be some one, two, three, four, maybe more or less but the main the the main thing here is the lens group here it's a cemented lens that sits here and i want to take it out because if we put a if we put some light through it <coughs> well you can see there's a lot of dirt i mean it looks like it's real dirt so uh, I would like to clean it. The rest of the lens group here is, um, I think it's, it's, it's uh, quite good. So I will not disassemble that because it's not necessary. So only this lens here. So let's go with that. And I will use my uh, rubber tools here. <coughs> And for this case, to unscrew that, I will use the uh, all of them. I mean, except the the biggest one. <clears throat> you see, there are two notches here, one there and there. I could use a. I mean, if the case is uh, that the retaining ring that sits here is too tight, but. I will just use my uh, first try with the rubber tool 
and it fits absolutely perfect with the number five four three two and one so you have a better grip so let's see no oh, it's free it doesn't seem there was any uh, thread lock on this one I mean in the edge here so they maybe have saved some <coughs> So this is the retaining ring that holds the lens in here and uh, I will simply just flip the lens group over and let the lens pop into my hand. And it's probably in... maybe. Oh! Here it comes and so it is. It's a cemented lens and it can only sit one way. So this is uh, how it looks, better can see it here, remember that. So let's see how it looks through the, without the lens, okay. And you can see it's much much clearer than the other, so there is not really need for that, for cleaning that lens group. But I will just clean this <clears throat> and see how it will turn out to be. Need some piece of rubber to put it on. And I will begin with the other side here. And put this cone into... Oh! <laughs> so, it's a good combination with all the tool so you can just put them on so like this I put the lens in and uh, then we need some some uh, lens tissue for that and I will just lean um, add some nail I mean <laughs> not nail uh, simple lighter fluid and uh, it will do the job I mean, hopefully. <clears throat> so, like this. So, there. Hope it will be fine. <clears throat> uh, we just do it again. There could be some oil film on this one, so uh, it's better to do it twice. Wow, it looks like really a good thing. Now turn it over and see how it looks when it's clean. So. <coughs> um, just <coughs> sorry. <coughs> it's winter time, so one gets maybe a little <laughs> not in so good shape. But <coughs> now, add some lighter fluid to this side of the lens. Can even have a little more. So. And yeah, sometimes there are a, a bit of a uh, oil film on, no matter what it, it looks to be at first. Wow. Well, <clears throat> let's uh, let's see how it looks now. I think it would be better. But I mean, of course there are some dirt on it. But we will just give it another go. I mean, it's not a new lens, so <clears throat> sometimes there are a bit some 
dirt on it uh, that one cannot really take away no matter what cleaning solution you use yeah, it helps a lot so that So again, it's important you have the width tissue because you have to go all the way out to the edge of the lens. And now it seems to be much better. So, how does it look? There was a little dirt on here. But as you can see, it is really much better than it was. So, <clears throat> I will just put this lens in again and uh, say it's fine for this. So, there, and simply pop it in. It's very tight fit, so and then put on the retaining ring and then tighten it gently. So there. <laughs> Funny sound. <coughs> so, and that's it. And now it looks much better. <laughs> How about that? Wow. I mean, now you can actually see there's no matte surface on this. There may be some dust on the inside here, which could just be blown away. And then put the lens aside. And now we go into the back lens group. And for that I will use the the uh, walking stick, not <laughs> uh, the walking stick itself. But as you can see there is the uh, there is the uh, fungus in there. And I'm not really sure if I can remove remove it, <laughs> uh, but I will try anyway. So off with that, and <clears throat> off it comes. I mean, loose. So it's a really good tool. This one you can get them in different size in the shops who sell. I mean, I would guess. Who sells uh, equipment for handicapped people or older or people who has problems with with uh, their legs or so not really good for them now here you can see the the uh, shutter part of the shutter assembly which is the when I press here it will just do some work I mean fire we can just open it again so now <clears throat> to come into this uh, part of it <clears throat> I took a sneak peek in here and think okay I can just remove this ring here hmm and I thought it was screwed in um, but it wasn't hmm so how to get it out and I mean, I thought it was right hand thread or left hand thread, but nothing. It's not screwed in at all. It's simply just glued in by uh, use of some, well, lack or 
lacquer or whatever painting black painting maybe um, or maybe some old uh, rubber or so I don't know so I thought I could use some uh, nail polish remover which actually work but it took a while to get all the uh, I mean to just show you simply add a lot around the edge here and let it suck in really have to use a lot until it will soften so much so you actually could use a a uh, rubber tool to actually unscrew it and uh, by using that I simply use my uh, sticky rubber here and simply put it on and let it I mean you should really be use a lot of force to probably soften it as much as uh, so it will come off but you can see <clears throat> it's uh, it's actually a little problem here so uh, by using a cotton butt to just suck around here and get rid of some of the nail polish remover so it will actually look pretty good and you can also wipe away the rest here so and it looks it looks okay it's not possible to take out this lens which I thought so um, I need to I think it's glued in to place uh, so I will simply try to dip on some let's see if I have something to put it on which I maybe have here hmm. so and we just zoom in a little <clears throat> so you can see the uh, the fungus is here and I think it has sit there for some years I mean I think so but let's see how it can go if I use some oh, hydrogen peroxide and now I have written it correct <laughs> as you probably can see <clears throat> so by using a small lens tissue I will just try to see if I can actually do anything to remove it maybe the paint here around the lens itself can get some uh, yeah it could be a problem but I will simply just use as less as possible or maybe use a curtain bud to simply try to apply it on the lens maybe I should is there I think it will be okay but let's see if it can go sometimes it works and sometimes not but maybe I mean something happened so maybe it's uh, possible to actually remove it <laughs> interesting thing uh, or maybe the, the damage of the coating I mean it's not the glass itself that's get uh, that gets uh, is attacked it's actually the coating self but hold on it looks like it's gone Wow <laughs> it's it's just amazing so now I will just use a little 
apply the fluid, apply it here, and then just a few drops. Let's see how it will. Wow, it simply disappeared. That was just amazing. There is no sign of, oh well, just a little, but it's gone. <laughs> yes, that's amazing. I've never thought that. I mean, it was really serious. So I'll just do the cleaning again. And now it's gone. Well, there is too too much. I mean, too less pressure on it. So I'll just do it again. And it's it looks like it's gone. So how about, what does, how does it look? I mean, the lens here on the back, here is dirty, but I mean, you cannot see the fungus anymore. Uh, well, there is some signs of, of, in the, some kind of, yeah. But it's all, I mean, the, the most of it is simply disappear by just, uh, cleaning with the hydrogen peroxide now that's just amazing so I will simply just put this on again but uh, I think I will use some ink for that and simply add some here on the edge It's really good for painting lenses too. This uh, this Molotov is not a cocktail, but <laughs> um, it's actually okay for lenses. So there, and now we actually have a lens that works. That's just amazing. Now, the very back lens element uh, needs to be taken out. So uh, I will use a rubber tool. No, I'll use the next size of that. Where did it go? Here. Okay, this can be used for that. And I mean, almost use, I mean, always you try to use the rubber tool first before using any other tools that could probably damage the ring or bad <laughs> uh, scratch some, uh, the glass element. So always use the rubber tool as much as you can. <laughs> so, and all for that. So, just a retaining ring, nothing special. And uh, I think I will just use my lens sucker here to just get rid of as much as I can of this. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't really stick that much, but uh, I will glue it later. Now I'll put on the lens sucker here and take out the lens element. And this is how it looks and it should be sit like that. I mean, the most curved side is towards the back. <clears throat> now, how does this, this uh, lens element actually look? Oh gosh, there's a lot of dirt here. So, uh, hmm. Yeah, it's, I think it's possible to clean it fine just use the outside first 
uh, maybe it's better to have this on here so we have a good stand so now it's fine <coughs> and a uh, lens tissue Better, just a little. I mean, if we give it another go and see how it will turn out to be. So there. something on the edge here so we will give it a, a last go here really good and then the other side which is the inside of the lens <coughs> and where did it go here just use so and some lighter fluid shiny I think there will be a good lens out of this cleaning process I mean it can only be better so and that's it so how does it look Oh, <laughs> do you remember how it looks before? Mm, yeah, it's much better. There may be some dust and dirt on it, but uh, it will just be blown away. Now, the inside of this lens is not really necessary. I mean, someone can actually see there is a very, very small sign of there has been any any um, fungus on this lens so I think it will be okay for now there's no need for cleaning in the in here because it, it's a bit what do you say um, difficult to clean that side but if it's not possible if it's not necessary well there's no need for doing it so I will just put the uh, the uh, very back lens element into place and say that's fine Just use uh, whatever this one here. Mm. Yeah. And then add this on here. Flip it over. And now it sits there. So, how does it actually look? I mean, it was uh, dirty right before. Uh, but now it looks okay. 
small signs of dust over here. So I uh, will just add the retaining ring and say that's uh, fine for now. So uh, not this one, maybe this one here. So oh, there. There's something on the back which I really not like. So I'll just use a normal lens tissue, I mean lens cloth, and see if I can get it any better. Sometimes it works and sometimes not. It depends on which kind of cloth there it is. But since it's brand new, so I would think it's it's fine for this. Try. Yeah. I think it's fine for now. So I'll, I will not do anything more with this. Just put it into the to the axial <coughs> lens. Oh. We've got to add some some kind of uh, not glue but a kind of oh, where we go here. I will use some. Uh, it's a kind of a rubber or so. It's also really good for for making. Um, holes I mean if there is a hole in a uh, camera curtain this would be I've tried before and it works really good it's a kind of a, a good rubber so I can just uh, see this is called pop-up liner from a shop called Penduro Hobby and uh, it uh, it actually works pretty good and the amount of I mean there's not no need for you use a lot just a few drops just to have it sit in place so it works like uh, glue so this one as you can see it uh, has a name uh, called 250081 from pandurohobby.com So I can just put this in again here and turn it a little and it will it will uh, stick fully in six hours so I think it will be fine for now. Uh, maybe I should just put in the front lens group first. Oh, it looks really good. And I think I'll just cut the fire the shutter so there will be no dirt coming in that way so simply just put in the lens element gently find the thread somewhere so and screw it in so it is and then use my my, will you say, compass lens tool. Just zoom out a little. And then, and gently tighten it. 
so and that's it and then I can just add the back lens group um, bring in there was something so there and it looks fine just add the lens group in here or just let it stand upside down I mean with the front lens uh, group towards up because then the the rubber in here will just uh, be very good hardened so so it is and then I can open the shutter again and how does this lens look right now well if you can remember it doesn't really look good before but now it's I mean almost clear I mean you, right now you can use it not uh, before with the focus on one lens element so I mean that's really good for this uh, work I think we'll just clean the front lens and then we are done so and now it looks much better than it was <clears throat> so how about that I mean right now the lens can be actually be used for taking photos and not getting any I mean getting any bad pictures because of fungus so that was all from me so uh, hope you enjoy and can use the content so bye bye